Hi, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to update the employee details in the database. Let's begin. So what I'll do is I'm going to declare a new method inside the employee service. So this is going to return the employee object itself. Update employee. This will takes the employee ID as an argument as well as the employee object. So employee and employee. In fact, this will the service method does not take an employee ID. We don't need this. This will takes only the employee object. So let's save this inside our service implementation. We are going to implement this method. So we're going to make use of the repository method employee repository we're going to call the same method which we have used for saving the records which is save and this is going to take the employee object as an argument so the difference between this and this so this employee object does not contain the id but this employee object will contain the id so depending upon the id the save method will perform the update and save operation. So if the employee object does not contain the ID, then it is going to create a new record inside the database. But if the object contains the ID, then the save method will treat that as an existing object and it will update the object. So we're going to make use of the same method, which is the save method for both save and update operation. So remember that. So let me save this. Now inside our employee controller, we are going to call the method service method. So return employee service dot update employee and we are going to pass the employee object. But before that, we are going to attach the ID to it employee dot set ID and we are going to pass the ID to that object so now this employee object does contain the employee id so our repository save method will update the object instead of creating a new record let's test our work so i have saved the employee controller let's switch to the postman uh, we are going to update the second record which is bharat uh, i'm going to change the bharat age to 30 and Location, I'll change this to India and email, I'll change this to bharatit at gmail.com. So let me copy this content. Now let's go to the update employee. Let's actually get rid of this and paste this. We don't need to pass the ID because inside our controller, it is going to add let's pass the employees slash two and let me change this to the age i'll change this to 30 and location i'll change this to india i'll change the email id bharat dot it and department textile so now when i click on this send we should get the response the employee response that is id2 name bharat age 30 location india bharat it at gmail.com department textile let's actually go to the read employees and click on this send inside this also our object should be updated you can see id2 bharat 30 india bharat dot it at gmail.com we should not generate the new record yes it is not generated it as a new record it instead it updates the existing object we can also verify that in our database. Let's go ahead and execute this query. And we can see the ID 2, the age 30, Bharat, Bharat.it at gmail.com and location India. All right, so now we have completed all the database operations, which is create, read, update, and delete. And this completes our CRUD operations section. In the next video, we're going to start implementing the pagination and sorting for this application. So I will see you in the next video.